All right, hey, back with another Transformers review. As promised, I am going to finish up the two remaining War for Cybertron figures, Shot Soundwave and Bumblebee. I'm going to start with Soundwave first, if only because that out of all of them, Soundwave was one of the ones that I kind of wanted a lot. But once I got him, he's uh, a little disappointing. I'd say that I'd get it out of the way now and say that out of the four War for Cybertron toys, that I think that Soundwave is overall the weakest one. He's still a good toy, but as far as getting close to the War for Cybertron likeness, I can see how difficult it is to get a character that's as complex as Soundwave into a toy form. Um, as far as in this mode, the alt mode, he's some kind of... The game calls it a spy rig, so I guess he's some kind of electronic surveillance truck or whatever. Um, he looks pretty mean. I mean, it's not a bad looking vehicle, but then you start to see where some of the weakness of this particular toy comes into. Um, there's this nasty gap in the side right here. You can really see through the other end. And like some of the animated toys, he's got a huge hole in his ass. And this is something that I just can't, I just can't really, I can't stand by this. Like, it's not even as bad on the Optimus version. And on the Bumblebee, Bumblebee's perfect as far as this is Altmo goes. I mean, you can't really tell, well, you can't really see any of these gaps or holes that you would associate with transformation or whatever. Um, he has these two holes right here on both sides where you attach his weapons. And um, I might as well do, show you now. But um, you open up his cassette window deal right here. You can pop out these two. Oh, let's pull them out a little bit. Battery-like things, kind of reminiscent of his batteries from the G1. One of them is a rocket pod, and the other one is this gun thing. It's It secures on really well. Um, you just plug them into the holes right here. That's about it. Rolls pretty decently. He's got some weird tires, so don't try to roll him on, if you want to roll him on, like, a smooth surface, then it's not going to roll too well. Anyhow, transformation on this one is pretty simple. Like Megatron, um, there's really not much to him at all. And we'll get to open it. Oh, wow. Never had that happen. Here's Soundwave in all of his okay glory. And I think that if you've played the game, then you can see immediately where this figure just kind of fails in this mode. Um, War for Cybertron Soundwave is a big, beefy, really chunky kind of guy. And just like how he was in G1, considering that most of his bulk was because he, well, he was a, a tape player, he maintained a lot of that bulky look in the video game but when you look at this toy right here like bulky is the last thing I would think about when I see this figure um, also another issue here is that the shins are just way too small these knee parts are supposed to be much bigger his legs are too thin and he's got these clown feet here too and I, I hate to see 
this toy like this because he's otherwise a really good toy with a lot of good articulation. Because of the way his arms transform, he's got some really nice elbow articulation, although uh, it just looks a little weird if you do it this far. This far. But nevertheless, it still looks pretty nice. And his legs articulate really well. He's got some, and because of the clown feet, he's got a really good base of stability, you know. Um, his head, unfortunately, doesn't seem to be on a ball. It's just um, a swivel here. On the plus side, though, um, when I first saw this figure, I thought that he was going to have um, War for Cybertron Bumblebee Gimp wrists, but he doesn't. It's just a slight mistransformation in the uh, promo pictures. And also, for a nice sound wave detail, he's got his rocket pod up here, too. So, if you're looking for a toy, it's not a bad toy, but if you're looking for something that's War for Cybertron, Soundwave, because you like Soundwave, or if you like him in the game, then I it's hard for me to kind of rep, to recommend this figure, because that in both modes, it's just... I'd say that you just it, it's just difficult to get something so complex as what you see in the game into toy form. I mean, when you look at the model, a lot of it just breaks physics so much, and I think you can understand why trying to represent something that just breaks the laws of physics into something that is bound by the laws of physics, like a toy. So, that's pretty much it. Get him if you want. I wouldn't recommend him. So, next up is going to be Bumblebee finishing off the War for Cybertron fakes.